Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Self-Published Success, a show that highlights forward-thinking authors who chose self-publishing over traditional and found success in doing so. My name is John Feldman, founder and CEO of Visionary Literary, and your host for today's show. Our guest today is Udumi Hussain, and Udumi is an author, a speaker, a blogger, and her f- content focuses on female empowerment, her own struggles in life surrounding acceptance or what led her down this journey, and it's been her mission to help as many people as possible. When not doing the above, Udumi works in the financial services industry, and here she has learned that the higher the risk, the higher the return. And she likes to jump on opportunities to see where they can take her. Udumi, welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> so coming off of that very brief introduction, can you tell the listeners, tell us a little bit more about you, uh, your background, and more importantly, what got you into the desire to write? Yes. So like you mentioned, I do work in the financial services industry. I've been in the industry for quite some time. And I do have a big passion for uh, whatever I do in my current uh, position. And I come from an educational background in finance. And then, like you mentioned, I didn't publish a book. And I think uh, what got me there was the fact that I just wanted to get out my message. And I actually, actually, before writing my book, it all started with my blog. Uh, This is where I started to work on my writing skills. And eventually that was my end goal, which was to actually publish my my own book. And actually I was not planned that I was going to do it this year. It was something that it was there. Like it was a to my like it was in my to-do list eventually in my life, but I didn't think it was going to be this fast. And uh, so after reading another book that was like about similar content as mine, I actually contacted that author and I said, okay, how did you publish your your book and stuff like that? And she was like, oh, it's super easy. You just have to like self-publish it. You can look on YouTube or like Google it. And that's how I actually like try to like, that's how I publish my book. I, by following what I found on YouTube and basically I just, did it all on my own like it's called self-publishing for a reason (laughs) right well yes good i mean there there are plenty of resources um but it does it takes it takes the time it takes the effort right so you found the resources online and and you went for it but i want to go back to to the blogging first so when you decided that you know i have this message and i want to get it out and i want to start writing what was the um like did you have writing experience prior to the blogging uh I did, but it was more like academic level. Like I uh, did write a lot of papers when I was in university, mainly from like project, uh, from different projects that I, that I took. Um, like it was, they were all mainly about business. And then I was also in the honors program and the um, like in, in finance and I had to write a thesis. And that was probably the longest thing that I have written. It was probably like 25 pages. And so I did have like, writing experience but then I felt like it wasn't enough for me to write a book that's why I started with blogging and I felt like with blogging I was thinking like I have a lot of things that I can share to the world and that's how I I use that like to you know educate people but at the same time also through as as sort of like a therapy because I think like when you write things down they really help you to give you a little bit more clarity and at the same time you know you are teaching other people, you're working on your writing skills. So it's like a win-win situation, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I assume it's a, probably a little bit of a different writing style from writing that thesis to yes. writing in a therapeutic sort of way, like you say, to, to get everything out and um, and onto paper or onto the word processor um, today. But good, and then and then what was it, I guess, I guess that led you, did you have so much of this blog content that you're like, I can create a book out of this or... Was it just an extra piece of writing that you thought about? Yeah, so with the blog, when I first started with the blog, I was like, okay, I'm going to give myself like five years before I like publish my first book. But in reality, I had the blog for like two years, less than two years. And I think uh, what really motivated me was the fact that I saw other people like self-publishing their own book. And I was like, you know what, if they can do it, I can do it too. So I actually had a friend who published his own uh, book. So I spoke to him and I asked him like, okay, how did you do it? What are the steps? Uh, Like, where is it that I can go to look up for the information? So he explained me a little bit. 
And then he told me to read this book, which says how to write a book in 30 days. So I read that book and I got all the information from there. But the thing is, I didn't feel like that book was giving me any insight that I didn't know already. So when I actually started to write the write my book, it was literally three months ago. And I, I told myself that in 30 days, I'm going to make sure that it's published. So I actually did sit every day and actually write like a little bit every day for like 30 minutes, an hour in the weekends, I would put a little bit of more time. So I was very focused and motivated about this. I was like, you know what? I, I have the opportunity to do it. No one is stopping me. I don't have to find a publisher. I can do it on my own like everyone else did it. And so I gave my, myself this time like uh, 30 days. And then after like I found someone on Fever who helped me with the editing and formatting and I was begging her to help me. I was like, you know what? I have no clue what I have to do after. So she was super helpful. She was like, yeah, I'm going to do the editing. I'm going to do the formatting. I'm going to help you with the cover page. So I had like ideas. So I gave her like, my draft which was already i told her the chapters that i wanted and then she helped me with the editing formatting and then i think it took her pretty much like a week to fix it and then the week after it was there on amazon wow okay so congrats that's some serious <laughs> dedication there to make sure um that you do get it out so that is that is one of the the hardest pieces for and authors to make sure that when they sit down and start, there's so much energy there. There's so much excitement at the thought of getting everything onto the page. And then you start writing and you're halfway through and you're like, is this, mm -hmm. is this good enough to publish? So congrats uh, for getting, <laughs> getting through that phase quickly now. So at, <clears throat> sorry, after you hit publish, what happens? What, obviously you're excited, right? But, but what happens for you next? So, so after he published my so my goal as a person was more to get my book out there and tell the world that look I am a self published author but I think the, 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 once you publish your first book you get a hit of adrenaline that you're like ready to publish your next one yep. so I my goal in life was just to publish one book but honestly I think I'll probably publish a couple of more after this because I think I do have a I have a passion for writing that I wasn't aware of. Um, and I think I really like like getting my thoughts out there. They really help me to get clarity and like organize myself. So I do plan on like writing a second book. And I think I want to go under like with the same route. Like just want to, I just want to self-publish it. Cause I think at the end, anyone is able to do it because we have this chance of like self-publishing. We don't have to go to another route of finding a publisher. You know, sometimes the books get rejected and I heard stories of books getting rejected. So I do plan on like writing a second one Cause I feel like everyone in this world has a mission. Uh, and I think I also have a mission, which is, you know, to tell my story, to inspire other people to take actions and so, yeah, I do want to write the second one eventually. <laughs> good. And that's that's a good point that you make. One, obviously, the excitement that comes with um, with writing a book. Once you get published, you you start to have ideas for more. But the, the fact that you got your first book out so quickly, if you went the traditional publishing route, there's no way that would happen because it would take it would take years. So the not that the excitement or, or the passion would fade because it's something that you're passionate about. You've been passionate about this you know, since it, since a very young age. So, but just the, the ability to be able to get these books out, your readers, if they read your book, they don't want to wait another two years for your next book to come out. They <laughs> want to know that you are going to be like, you know, putting out books at a consistent uh, pace. But for you, um, if you try to stick to that pace of putting out a book every 30 days, <laughs> you're going to be very, very overwhelmed. Um, but yeah. So again, um, when it comes to the book, to your message, to your blogs, to your videos, what, I mean, as much as you want to share with us now, what makes you, what drives you to want to spread your message and help people in the way that you do? You have a very particular, I guess, field of interest when it comes to people that you want to help and why you want to help them. What, what is your continued mission outside the book? I think, so I think uh, I do have like many things when it comes to this, because first of all, when I, 
published my first book, I wasn't really thinking, okay, I want to sell this many books. It was about getting my own accomplishment, like just to feel self-accomplished. That's what was my biggest goal. Like I didn't care who bought it, who didn't or so forth. It was just the fact that, you know, I can go and tell everyone that, you know, I published a book. So I'm like a very respect, like I I, I deserve the, 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 the certain respect because I was able to do it. But I think my main mission, it was really to like educate people because in my own book, I do talk about, it's, it's sort of like an autobiography. So I do talk about the little, a, lot of, a lot of things that happened to me when I was, uh, when I was younger. And I do talk about the, like my own struggle of being um, a sort of culture kid. And I felt like this is something that many kids can relate to. So it was just something that I wanted people to, to feel like they're not alone in this, that they belong somewhere. Because um, often in times, this is how I felt when I was growing up, that I didn't belong to any world because my parents are from like a different country. I was born in a different country. I live in a different country. So sometimes you feel like you don't belong anywhere. So my goal was really to like not make anyone feel alone in this journey that they might, might go through because I felt that. And I think I felt very inspired by the previous book that I read. And this is how I got my inspiration to write my book. So my mission is like really to inspire other people to share their story and to make sure that we create like a community where people feel like they're belonging somewhere. So this was, this is my mission. Like I just want people to feel like they belong somewhere, that they're not alone in this. We all go through the same struggle. So each story is unique, but also we share common things basically. That's a very good point. And when it, it, everyone, when they publish a book, um, wants to think about like bestseller, like get on a bookshelf and, and have a bunch of sales, book signings. But one thing that I say to all of, for, for our business, for all of our clients, for to anyone who wants to write a book and is focusing on that, like sales, 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 it takes one reader, one person to pick up your book and you can completely transform their life. Look at the book that you picked up and it changed your life and it made you want to read a book. So if one person reads your book who is in a relatable situation and finds comfort in it, then your book is a success. So um, again, congrats in writing that book in 30 days and getting that out there. One last question that I want to leave you with for the audience as a self-published author, right? What was, what was your, in your book writing journey, what was your, your lowest point? The point where you thought, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. And then what was your highest point where you thought, Wow, this was a, this was so worth it. Okay, this is a tough question in the sense that if you ask me what's the lowest point, I don't think I had one because I think I created my own motivation. Like I was very, I was very determined and dedicated about this, which is why I don't think I had a like a lowest point. I was always very focused and concentrated about like getting this book out there, and I think probably my like the thing that I the thing that I enjoyed the most was really the actual process, like, because uh, it was sort of like a, like an autobiography. So it really brought back a lot of memories and it made me think about my life before moving uh, where I am right now. So it made me like nostalgic, but it was also good at the same time because I was thinking about good memories. So I actually enjoyed the whole process. I know sometimes people don't like writing books because it takes time. You need to find time. Uh, but honestly, I think if you do have a passion for something and you know that you're serving something, I think it just makes it so much easier. So for me, it was very like, it was very therapeutic, but at the same time, it was enjoyable. Like I enjoyed every moment of it, which is why I feel like I want to write a second one. And which is why I like having my own blog, because I feel like I can just get all my ideas out there so I actually enjoyed every process of it and I didn't feel like it was time consuming it was boring I didn't think any of it not even a bit the only thing that I feel like which probably could answer your question is that I was not too much aware of it but there is a lot of promotion that you have to do when you release a book I was not aware of this a friend of mine told me yeah 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 you have to do so much like promotion and like getting your like you want to make sure that it's everywhere and this is how I connected all the dots because I follow a lot of um, authors and I follow a lot of like celebrities who publish their book and I never thought about why they're doing so much like promotion about their books and now it makes sense yeah. so I was like okay this is probably one thing that I should be like working on and I think promotion is probably the biggest part about writing a book it's not the actual 
like process of writing it. It's when you when it's ready, you want to make sure that everyone knows uh, about your book as much as possible. So you want to make sure that it's in, like you will promote it in your social media. You have it like on a bookshelf and stuff like that. And it's very very important. I didn't realize it how much important it was. Yes, yes, very important. And one major one major thing for consideration for you and for the listeners uh, when you promote, since there is so much out there, there's so much on, on Twitter and everyone's promoting their book, their book, their book. You have to make it as simple as possible for people to click one link and get right to your book, to the purchase page. So if your listeners out there, if you're thinking about, you know, putting a, an image on Facebook, make sure that you have a link right there that directs the person right to the, the Amazon or the payment page, because, um, the more clicks, the, the less chance of a purchase. So Udemy, this has been a, a great conversation. Again, thank you for, for sharing your insight. Uh, congrats again on the writing in 30 days. Very, very good accomplishment. I really hope that, um, that you move forward and that that second book comes out where, where can everyone find the, the current book, where can they find you on your social channels? Yes, yeah, so my book is on Amazon and it's called Discovering Your Identity, A Rebirth from Interational Struggle. And it can be purchased, like from like it, it can be delivered anywhere in the world. And we will have and, a link in the description. Yeah. <laughs> and people can find me on LinkedIn. So it's Urmi Hossain, my full name. I'm also, I also have a YouTube channel. It's called Urmi Hossain. I have my blog, which is called myways.ca. And I also have an Instagram account. It's called Urma Mio. Urmi, <laughs> well, thank you so much. Um, great conversation. Again, look forward to, to seeing your next book when it does come out in print. Thank you.